every year I make sure that we get to view and see this park. 72-year-old Linda Verlotti has been visiting the Finwood Estate ever since she was a child. Oh, it's been many, many years. I would say 50, 60 years just enjoying the city of Illyria and their lights. Verlotti continued the family tradition by driving through the colorful estate with her granddaughter. Um, it's nice being around family and coming here because I've been here with everybody over the years, the family. The historic landmark was built back in 1929 by Common Pleas Judge Guy Finley and his wife Jenny. The estate was eventually deeded to the city of Illyria. We've estimated anywhere between 500,000 and a million lights. To create such a lighting spectacular, crews started working on the lighting displays months in advance. We have staff that starts in the end of July with the outside, gets all the lights going, and then starts in October in the inside of the house to get ready for Santa. Finwood Estate draws a big crowd each year. Around 30,000 cars drive through the state and more than 8,500 come in to check out the inside of the house. Since Verlotti lives in the area, she gets to enjoy the lights more than once. Oh, several times though I get a chance and it's just always a lot of fun to see the kids. And Reporting for Spectrum News, I'm Enrique Correa.